Hello class, this is Miss Augustine, and today we're going to solve some ideal gas law problems. The ideal gas law is PV equals NRT, and we have to remember that because we have a gas constant here that has the units of liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin, our pressure needs to be in atmospheres, our volume needs to be in liters, our temperature has to be in Kelvin, and N has to be the number of moles. So let's read this problem. How many moles of hydrogen, so it means we're solving for moles, will occupy a volume of 6.42 liters at a pressure of 4.3 atmospheres and a temperature of 55 degrees C. So our temperature is going to be converted to Kelvin, so we're going to add 273 to that, and we'll get 328 Kelvin, and our R. So now, since PV is NRT, and we're solving for N, N is equal to PV over RT. So I'm going to plug the numbers in. And finally, temperature. Now, cancel units. So what we're left with is moles. We actually are left with 1 over 1 over moles, which will be moles. And when we plug it into our calculator, we get 6.42, which has too many significant digits. Here we only need 2, so n is going to round to 1.0 moles. So now this question is asking, what is the density of ammonia? And we have to remember that density is defined as mass per unit volume. So in order to get at density, we have to solve for something. So what we're going to do is we know that ammonia has a molar mass of 17.03 grams equals one mole. So if we solve for volume, and we use one mole, then we will know mass per volume. So I'm going to go here and plug in, V is our question mark. We're going to assume one mole. And then we're going to put our other um, variables. So we have pressure is 400 tor, needs to be an ATM, so 400 divided by 760. ATMs comes out to 0.526. And then um, we're going to plug in RT, which is 35 degrees C plus 273. So that's 308 and our R. So now, Solving in the equation, B is going to be nRT divided by T. Plugging in our moles, our gas constant. And our temperature. And dividing by pressure. to cancel out, and that leaves us with liters, which is what we wanted, and so our volume turns out to be 48.05 liter when you plug it in, and 
two sig figs is what we need, so 48 liters. Now, we assumed one mole, and we remember that one mole for ammonia is 17.03 grams. So now we can solve for density. We know that 17.03 grams of ammonia has a volume of 48 liters. So when we divide that, we get, which to two sig figs would be 0.35 grams per liter, and that is density. So for now, this is Ms. Augustine signing off, and we're going to do a few more problems in the next video.